Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for August 13th through the 19th. Uh, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically, my readings are love readings. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Somebody's wearing a mask. Needs to put their put it down. Needs to take it off. I mean, come on now. Holding that mask up there. Doesn't want to see the truth. Somebody doesn't want to believe the truth. Hurts really bad. Whatever the truth is, it hurts with that Knight of Swords reversed. And the Page of Swords? Oh yeah, it cuts. Whatever this is, it hurts. Whatever it is, it's like it's bringing some conflicts, a mental conflict to your life. A lot of mental turmoil here. Could have to do with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or another um, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it looks like there's no action being taken. Could be some gossip. Could be some nasty words going back and forth. Definitely heavy, whatever this is. Very heavy. Negative. You could be, you know, somebody isn't thinking very positive. That's for damn sure. Things aren't going well. Something is, something ain't right. Reality check. Reality check. Uh-oh. Okay. You know, somebody may have got involved with somebody that had no intention of staying. Um, it looks as though there's a lot of confusion here, but the reality is... is is um, somebody knows what the reality is, but is refusing to see it. And now we need to change that. This is accepting, accepting the reality of something, whatever that is. There's definitely some, re some revelation, some sort of reveal that's going to happen, some kind of message is going to come that you know it may not be a good message okay whatever this message is because of the page of wands reversed and then the page of swords i mean the page of swords uh cuts right right to the chase and the page of wands is a um oh, what's the word likes to cause problems you know the page of wands in reverse is somebody who mm, picks a picker okay so I think you've got you've got a problem here with somebody that is bringing not just a picker a negative Nelly somebody that is a naysayer somebody that doesn't have any ambition doesn't have any drive does brings misery loves company that kind of person so you're that's what you're dealing with I think that you're dealing with somebody and that maybe that's you maybe you're living in misery I don't know somebody is and they need to take action and, and stop carrying around this burden. They need to be practical. This is heavy. This, this mask, it don't look heavy, but it is heavy. It's even though you can't, it, it, it may not, you know, and to the naked eye, it doesn't look heavy. But it's heavy. This is really heavy. Okay. I feel as though there's been some sort of commitment here. Or (laughs) 
once upon a time that has some secrets. There's some secrets here that are coming out. Now, I want to know what this Queen of Pentacles is. What is this Queen of Pentacles up here? The very first card. You guys may be, may be being asked to be disciplined here. Find some discipline. Find, you know, face your insecurities. It's time to bring back security. It's time to bring back stability to your life. The High Priestess. This is about intuition. Follow your intuition. Get grounded. Come back down to reality. She's the queen of reality right here. Right here. Okay. So, yeah, you need to you need to get grounded. You do. You need to really ground yourself at this time and you know, step out of this what something isn't reality. And that's why I said reality check over here. Some somebody doesn't want to accept the reality of a situation. You know, hoping that there will be some movement, you know, some some kind of movement. Holding on to the past. Now, there could be a message coming in. There could be. Maybe you've been waiting for it for quite some time. It's unrealistic. There's too much. What the hell is this? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, <laughs> I'm hoping that if you if you're patient, things will proceed, perhaps with somebody from your past. But the Seven of Wands, it's like the Seven of Wands reverse. It's like wanting to fight for something that has no growth I think you guys are trying to chase because and I'm you guys you know this is you okay this does represent you and it's in reversed upright this woman doesn't chase she knows what she's worth and she doesn't settle and she doesn't wait around you know she's she's abundant and she knows who she is in the upright in the reverse she doesn't and she chases and I think that you guys are trying to defend yourself or go after something from your past that isn't really coming. Yeah, it's like you don't you don't want to give up. You don't want to give up this game. You don't want to give up this fight. There's a lot of power struggles like I said back and forth. It maybe at times you want to give it up. I mean, you have done a lot of healing work. But there's a, there's a past relationship that isn't coming to fruition. Somebody, you know, a soulmate connection that isn't coming to fruition. It isn't, you know, it isn't going to lead to any anything solid with the Ten of Coins. It doesn't. It doesn't lead to anything solid. Or there's arguments at home. If you're in a relationship now, there's somebody could be talking about moving out or they could be moving out. This is like difficulty in the home or... Or moving out. Somebody could be, you know, moving out of a relationship, going away. There could have been a third party situation. There's no reunion here. So I feel like somebody has been chasing some sort of um, lack of reality because the moon is reversed. And everybody knows what the moon card is. What is the moon? Fantasy. It's escape and fantasy. That's what it is. And this. They, these cards are right over it. And I think that, you know, you somebody is chasing a fantasy. And I'm sorry to tell you that. I really am. You're chasing. The, the Empress Reverse is chasing. And I there's no reunion here. There's no reconciliation. And it's leading to a lot of unhappy. That's where the heavy weight is coming. Now we got the moon reversed again. Some, the truth is the truth. You can't change the truth. Okay? So I feel as though some truth has been revealed and somebody is really, 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 and I, my tone comes out the way it is, I, you know, it is what it is, doesn't want to see it. And that's all there is to it. I don't want to see the truth. But you know 
the truth. You deep down in your heart know the truth. But I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. I'm protecting myself. I'm in denial. Somebody needs to get grounded and come back down to reality. And I'm sorry. I really, really, really am. This is undesirable information. It is. It's not what you want to hear. Whatever is coming in and what I'm coming saying right now is not what you want to hear. And you may receive some information from another person that you don't want to hear this week. Now, what about single people that are looking for love? I mean, I mean, what about people that have let go? There's no solid opportunity. Okay. Hmm. Now, those are kind of contradictory. This is nothing solid that you can take to the bank up here. That's what that is, up here. With this relationship that is dead, it's done, it's over, it's done. There's nothing secure with that. But there's a brand new opportunity waiting for you. Something that does allow for growth if you can accept some sort of reality, whatever it is. There's a new opportunity. New partner. Passion, adventure, excitement. But you guys feel like you're bound to something else. You may be tempted by this new partner. I, there may be some temptation for, you know desires to be met but as far as anything solid goes it looks like there isn't anything solid because you're still holding on to somebody from your past therefore you know it looks as though you it's time for you to come out of this darkness and see the light Love yourself first. Somebody has an offer for you that could turn to love, but you got to let go of the past. you got to let go of this relationship that isn't happening up here. Fantasy land. Somebody could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be any sign. Could be Capricorn. Could be anybody. Has a new offer for you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They may want a commitment with you, but you're still committed to somebody else. Whether you're with them uh, physically or not. It looks as though you're holding on. The death card reversed. You're holding on to something that is done. It's over. It's done. It's done. It's done. And there's a new opportunity looking right in your face once again. Maybe you'll take it for the sex. I don't know. Because this is a new sexual partner. I'm just saying. I don't know. Maybe you won't. But I don't see anything, anything solid coming out of this. No reunion from the past. There's an opportunity for something new, but you guys are still bound, you feel, to something else. I feel like there are desires on the table, okay, you know, where it's like, you know, I have desires that need to be met. And I kind of would like to free myself from this situation. But I know that this person is the one for me, even though they're not here, whatever this is, you know. Um... Yeah, so therefore you guys are not allowing destiny to bring you what, what you deserve, and to bring you anything good. You're halting it. It's like you're trying to control the situation, clinging to control, wanting to go back to the past, wanting to go back to what is done. And that's all you can't, and this is, this truly is, you can't manifest what is it meant to be. I mean, you can, we've talked about this before. I'm not sure if it was you or a daily vibe or whatever, but if you do, it won't bring success. Because that's like black magic or whatever you want to call it. If you try to get something that isn't meant to be, you know, if, you, if then, you know, it is only going to bring you bad luck and bad karma. You really shouldn't be trying to fight destiny. You need to trust the plan. You need to trust the path. You need to trust the, you know, script that was written. And you need to believe in it. And you need to love yourself first. You need to release and let go of whatever this is that you're hanging on to. 
be done with it. There's no togetherness, there's no communication, and there's no compromise here. Whatever this is that you're hanging on to, there's, there's no reason to hang on to it. You have a new opportunity wanting to start something very exciting with you. But you don't want to let go, you just want to go back. You don't want to get caught. What happened? It. What this is is like you don't want to. You don't want to go with this new partner, per potential, in case this person you've been hanging on to decides to come back at that once you've got involved. I don't want to get caught doing this shit. Somebody could get caught, but you have the resources to change to shed the old. To bring success to your life. But you have to stand up and you have to stop hanging on to something. You need to stop, stop sacrificing your time and energy in the wrong place. There's a, You are being given a new opportunity. It's here. All you have to do is see it take and take action. You need to sever the ties with the past and not look back. It feels as though you've been brought right to your knees by somebody. And the pride of rejection is the hardest part to get over, the fact of the rejection. And you know, every single person goes through it, every, everybody. It's time to move on. There's a new opportunity waiting for you, Libra. There is. Refusing to wake up is going to bring bad luck into your life. There's a new opportunity. There is. With somebody that could really grow in into something that could be love could be but you have to give it a chance there's definitely passion to be had with this new opportunity oh look at it true love this is the romance of a lifetime so you know there's an opportunity for new love that could even last a lifetime if you could only see it. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I know that this person I'm holding on to is my true love. That's what you're thinking. I know it. I know it. It does not lead to anything solid, stable, and long-term. There is an opportunity for love. Somebody is offering you something that could lead to love. A new beginning. With a lot of growth. But you have to take the blindfold off. Talk to you later.